One of the challenges that we often have is retrofitting in very old Edwardian Victorian properties where you've got mixed floor levels, types of floors, very challenging layouts of buildings. So that's why a lot of installers avoid that type of challenge. But as you'll see here, it's tricky, challenging, but there's always a way. You just got to suss out the best way of getting from A to B with a bunch of pipes. Should I start with outside the heat pump? Yes, let's go. Where it all starts, all right, come on through. This is where the heat pump will be located. So we've got our pipe work running at the back, coming through up above those two pipes there, going through that wall into the property. So that's the hot water cylinder. Our pipe are coming there at the back. Uh, the primaries, the flow comes in through that diverter valve goes into the coil to heat up the water. So that's the hot water side. And then there is another pipe which you can't see that goes down and then through. That would be the heating side. So obviously flow to the coil, return, hot water, and all that kind of stuff. Um, now for the heating side, this is where it gets a bit complicated because we had to run the pipe work under the property. Um, it's an old Victorian house, so retrofit could be quite tricky, so we had to go under the floor. So the pipes, they go there, flow in return from the heating. So those two pipes with the liver valves, flow in return, they go down under the floor and then they run that way. All along, come up in here, and then they carry on through that wall, which was the really tricky part. So the pipe work runs under the house. There is about four feet void under that floor, which gets to about two feet on that side. So we had to crawl and bring the pipes from what I showed you under the floor all the way there to feed this radiator, that radiator there, another one there, just under the window and then the pipe carries on that way to feed that one. And then you need to move on to the next floor and the pipe work run in that wall there all the way up. Our pipe work will come here and then we'll have to carry on to the next, um, to the next floor. I was just about to open all this to feed this radiator and then two more pipe here to feed this radiator here. And then it goes that way to feed this one and then this one. And then we'll have to bring another pipe there. So the pipe work will run there and carry on through that wall. And whilst we're here, this is the, um, the old cylinder that will have to go here. And upstairs there is the cold water storage system that will have to go as well. So we'll do that for later. But for the heating side, pipe works, they carry on that way. They'll have to go in this room. So same, we'll have to open the floor here and we'll have to install this bad boy there, and another one just here under the window. So the pipe work will come up in that wall in the bathroom I showed you earlier. We'll have to open the floor in here, and then we have two radiators to install here, one just under that window, and a big one under that window over there, so same. Um, so yeah, 13 or 14 radiators. It's been... Um, yeah, it's been quite challenging because we've had to open the floors and find the route for the pipes and because there's so many radiators, we had to open the floor. It was, um, yeah, it was a bit of a challenge, but um, I think now we've got a plan and yeah, I think it's going to be a good, uh, it's going to be a good job once the heat pump will be up and running, which I believe probably by the end of the week, the heat pump will be connected, clients will have hot water. Uh, heating will take a bit longer because we need to finish the rods, open more floors and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, big job and yeah, so far so good.